marketing and automation is to segment your leads by demographic factors like industry, company size, and the leads role within her company. By segmenting your leads, you can create a more personalized experience. And a more personalized experience will make your leads want to read your emails. So here, here's how I started all in terms of doing this in my marketing and automation. This is one of my landing pages for an ebook that I have for professional services firms. Professional services firms are really important to me because it's an industry that I target. Prior to starting this company, I spent 25 years as a management consultant, and I can really help these companies um, do inbound marketing because of my knowledge of their industry. So it's important to me to get leads that are from the professional services industry. So what I do to kind of make a better experience for them is I ask for a fair amount of information on my forms to get the ebooks. Now, some people will say that just ask for the name and an email so that you don't uh, scare people away that don't want to give you information. Um, I take a kind of a contrarian viewpoint to that. I want to ask for a fair amount of information from people while making it easy for them to give it to me so that I can serve the people that do want my content better. And let me show you what I mean by that. If you'll look down here, you'll see some of the standard uh, demographic fields like first name, last name, etc. And what I do is I ask people three questions that help me serve them better. And you'll notice that I ask, what industry do you work in? I ask them what their role is within their company, and I ask them how big their company is. And the purpose for that is so that when somebody clicks on a dropdown and selects one of those fields, I can create a list in HubSpot that captures their information and identifies them as somebody in the professional services industry. So let me go back to HubSpot and show you where that information resides. Um, I don't want to show you the list itself because you'll see people's names and I want to keep them confidential, but you'll notice that I have a list um, down here for professional services and I have one for business owners and managers and marketing agencies and technology companies. And the purpose for this is for me to, to kind of personalize the experience for these people. And how I use that within HubSpot, um, we showed you in the last uh, video how to create a list, but let me just show you this professional services list to reinforce that. So if I edit this list criteria, all I did is I said include contacts who when they answered the question, what do you, industry do you work in, is equal to professional services. So how I use that again is I'll create an email that's specifically geared towards people in the professional services industry. And then when I go into my email portal in HubSpot, I'll create a new email to show you how this is done. And this will be an email that I'll just title PS just for illustration purposes. And here's where I create the content. But when I send the email, it'll say a recipients list. And what I do is I'll say professional services. So this email isn't going out to all my leads. It's just going out to the people in the professional services industry. And what I try and do is give people content that's relevant to them. And that helps make uh, my marketing automation more human.